guys. International Criminal Court is now in session. Lodion Stoli Corp and now International at Over. Please be seated. We use this one. Good afternoon. I would like the court officer to call the situation. Thank you, Madam President. Situation in the Libyan Arab Jamahiriya. Case number ICC-0111. Thank you. On Monday, 27 June 2011, Pretrial Chamber 1 of the International Criminal Court issued three warrants of arrest, respectively for Muammar Muhammad Abu Minyar Gaddafi, Saif al-Islam Gaddafi, and Abdullah al Zenusi, for murder and prosecution as crimes against humanity allegedly committed across Libya from 15 February 2011 until at least 28 February 2011 through the state apparatus and security forces. The ICC prosecutor opened an investigation in the Libya situation in March 2011. On 16th of May 2011, he requested that pretrial chamber one issue the arrest warrants. The decision of the chamber was read in a public session by the presiding judge Sanji Masanono Monehang and in the presence of the other two judges from the pretrial chamber one, Judge Sylvia Steiner and Judge Kuno Tarfuser. The chamber hereby issues one, a warrant of arrest for Muammar Mohammed Abu Minyar Gaddafi born in 1942 near Sirte, Libya, commander of the Libyan Armed Forces and holding the title of leader of the revolution and as such acting as the Libyan head of state. Two, a warrant of arrest for Saif al-Islam Gaddafi born on 25 June 1972 in Tripoli, Libya, honorary chairman of the Gaddafi International Charity and Development Foundation and ex acting as the Libyan de facto prime minister. Three, a warrant of arrest for Abdullah al Senussi, born in 1949 in Sudan, Kennel in the Libyan Armed Forces and currently head of the military intelligence, previously known as Jamaq Hiria Security Organization. The decision I've just read out is not a finding on the guilt of any of the three individuals and does not establish any fact beyond reasonable doubt which is a standard of proof to be applied by a trial chamber. Rather, it concerns the issue of whether the requirements for the issuance of warrants of arrest have been met in accordance with Article 58 of the statute and only in light of the allegations made by the prosecutor in his application and in light of the supporting materials on. In relation to the execution of these warrants of arrest, the Chamber has directed the Registrar to prepare and transmit, as soon as practicable, a request for cooperation seeking their arrest. The judges considered that there are reasonable grounds to believe that the three suspects committed the alleged crimes and that their arrests appear necessary in order to ensure their appearance before the court, to ensure that they do not continue to obstruct and endanger the court's investigations, and to prevent them from using their powers to continue the commission of crimes within the jurisdiction of the court. Libya is not a state party to the Rome Statute. The situation in Libya was referred to the ICC prosecutor by the United Nations Security Council in the unanimously adopted resolution 1970 
on 26th of February 2011. The Security Council decided under Chapter 7 of the United Nations Charter that the Libyan authorities shall cooperate fully with and provide any necessary assistance to the court and the prosecutor pursuant to this resolution. While recognizing that the states not party to the Rome Statute have no obligations under the statute, the Security Council urged all states and concerned regional and other international organizations to cooperate fully with the court and the prosecutor. In relation to the execution of these warrants of arrest, the Chamber has directed the Registrar to prepare and transmit as soon as practicable a request for cooperation seeking the arrest and surrender of suspects to the court.